we will study about important contributions of various scientists in microbiology. There are a lot of scientists, they have contributed their life into the study of microbiology. Some of them are Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch, Edward Jenner, Alexander Fleming and so on. So in this class, we will study about the important contributions of Louis Pasteur. The Louis Pasteur introduced very important techniques in microbiology. Those are fermentation techniques, sterilization technique, spontaneous generation theory, germ theory of disease and vaccine development. So now first, we will go for fermentation. What is fermentation? Fermentation is any metabolic process in which living microorganisms activity creates a desirable change in food and beverages. What is fermentation? Fermentation is any metabolic process in which living microorganisms activity creates a desirable change in food and beverages. So now see, the best example for fermentation is conversion of milk into curd. Conversion of milk into curd. Conversion of milk into curd is the best example for fermentation. So now we will study what exactly happened during this conversation. So now listen here. The curd is having a bacteria called lactobacillus. Lactobacillus and milk having a glucose content called lactose. Lactose. When we mix curd into the milk, the lactobacillus inside the curd will convert the lactose inside the milk to lactic acid. Lactic acid. This lactic acid helps to convert the milk into curd. This lactic acid helps to convert whole milk into curd. This process of conversation is called fermentation process. Okay? Listen here what is fermentation now? Fermentation is any metabolic process in which microorganisms activity creates a desirable change in food and beverages. Okay? So now move towards sterilization. Sterilization refers to any process that removes, kills or deactivates the living organisms present inside the particular substance. What is sterilization? Sterilization refers to any process that removes, kills or deactivates the living microorganisms present in that particular substance. The best example for sterilization is boiling of milk to prevent it from spoiling. See here, milk plus boiling equal to prevent it from spoiling. From spoiling. See here, when we boil the milk to a certain temperature, the bacteria inside the milk will get destroyed or will get killed. Okay, so that we can use this milk for a long time. For the protection of milk, we are keeping this milk into refrigerators. So, the boiling of milk is called a sterilization by heating process, and the keeping the milk into the refrigerator is called sterilization by cooling process. So the definition says that sterilization refers to any process that removes, kills or deactivates the living microorganisms present in that particular substance. Okay. Now I think you are clear about sterilization. Now we will move towards spontaneous generation theory. The spontaneous generation theory states that 
a living microorganisms will arise from a non living matter the spontaneous generation theory states that the living microorganisms arise from a non living matter i will explain this with an example for your better understanding milk plus long time is equal to germs germs according to this theory these living microorganisms will arise from this non living matter called milk okay so the theory states that the living microorganisms will arise from non living matter but the scientist louis pasteur disapproved this theory and he states that living microorganisms will only arise from its pre living microorganisms and he proved by conducting an experiment okay now we'll see exactly what experiment he did to disprove the spontaneous generation theory he used two flasks okay and filled them with a liquid substances same liquid substances and covered both flasks in such a way that only oxygen should come inside not the dust particles okay and he sterilized both flasks by heating process he sterilized the both flasks by heating process after sterilization he removed the cover of one flask and kept it for for a long time after some time when he observed the liquid inside the opened flask would get spoiled same like milk and kept same like milk with containing of small microorganisms called germs okay and hence he proved that the living microorganisms will arise only from pre living microorganisms present inside the dust because these dust particles in the environment contains a microorganisms those are living microorganisms and he also said that if we cover these living the mixing of this microorganisms then we can protect the liquid inside the substance so now we will study germ theory of diseases okay the germ theory of disease states that the growth and reproduction of the particular harmful bacteria within a host cell can cause the disease what germ theory of disease states the germ theory of disease states that the growth and reproduction of a particular harmful bacteria within a host cell can cause the disease okay and it also says that if we prevent or stop the growth and reproduction of the particular harmful bacteria then we can completely and successfully get cured from the particular disease okay for example if we have fever means we will go to hospital and we'll take the medicine from the doctor okay that medicine does the same okay that medicine stops the growth and reproduction of the particular harmful bacteria that's the reason we feel better and we successfully completely got cured okay it's all about germ theory of disease okay now come towards vaccine development the louis pasteur's developed three important vaccines those are one chicken cholera chicken cholera second one is anthrax disease and third one is rabies 
Okay. The chicken cholera, as the name indicates, it is mainly affecting on chickens. So that's the reason the poultry business economy is getting very low. So the Lewis Pasteur studied the microorganism or bacteria behind the cause of this disease and he successfully prepared a vaccine. After injecting his vaccination, his vaccine, the chickens got completely cured from the chicken cholera disease. So, the same anthrax is a disease which is mainly affecting on sheep and cattle. So, he prepared the vaccine for the anthrax also. And the third one and most dangerous disease at that time is rabies. It is coming from the dog bite. Okay. So, and it is directly affecting the human nervous system. Okay. So, he, he studied the rabies microorganism and he prepared a vaccine for rabies also. That vaccine we are using till today. Okay. So, this is all about contribution of Louis Pasteur's in microbiology. We really say thanks to him because due to him and like this scientist, we humans are still surviving very well. Okay. So, now come towards the overview of complete session. The contributions of Louis Pasteur in microbiology. Okay, fermentation. What is fermentation? Fermentation is a process in which microorganisms activity creates a desirable change in food and beverages. Example for fermentation, conversion of milk into curd. Okay, now come towards sterilization. What is sterilization? Sterilization refers to a process that removes, kills or deactivates the particular microorganisms from a substance. Okay. The example for sterilization is boiling of milk. Boiling of milk is a sterilization by heating process and uh, keeping the milk inside the milk inside the fridge is sterilization by cooling process. Okay. Now spontaneous generation theory. The spontaneous generation theory says that living organisms will arise from a non-living matter. But Louis Pasteur disproved this theory by saying living microorganisms will arise from a pre-existing living microorganisms. Okay. Now come towards germ theory of disease. The germ theory of disease says that the growth and reproduction of a particular harmful bacteria can cause the disease. And it also says that if we prevent or stop the growth of the particular harmful bacteria we can completely cure from the disease okay now come towards vaccine development Louis Pasteur developed three important vaccines first one is chicken cholera and second one is anthrax and third is rabies chicken cholera affecting mainly on chickens okay and uh, anthrax is affecting mainly on sheep and cattle and the third rabies is affecting by dog bite to the human nervous system. So this is all about the important contributions of Louis Pasteur's in microbiology. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in next session.